Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Cr2O3. Now we have two different elements here. We have Cr, which is chromium, and O, which is oxygen. If we just look at where those are on the periodic table, chromium is somewhere over here, right? It's part of the transition metal block. Transition metal, so it's a metal. Oxygen is on the right-hand side. It's right over here. That's non-metal territory, so oxygen will always be a non-metal. Now we have the two different elements. Let's name them out, right? So the metal name always comes first. It's literally the first one that's stated in this compound. And that name always stays exactly the same. So chromium would just stay chromium. So we'll write down chromium. And then comes the nonmetal. The nonmetal always gets the IDE ending when we're doing ionic compounds. So it won't be oxygen anymore. It would be oxygen. Side. You have to get rid of this Y-G-E-N and put I-D-E. Okay, now since it's a Roman numeral, we just have to check to see if we... Oh, sorry. Since this is an ionic compound, I'm kind of giving it away, right? Since this is an ionic compound, we have to make sure if we need a Roman numeral or not. And since chromium, which is over here, is part of my transition metal block, I do need a Roman numeral. That's when you need the Roman numerals. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. But now how are we going to find out the charge? Well, it's pretty easy. All we're going to do is take the subscripts, criss them, you know, crisscross them back up to find out the charges. There was two chromiums and three oxygens. This two told me that the oxygen was a, a negative two charge. And this three told me that the chromium was a plus three. Keep in mind that metals are positive. They want to lose electrons and nonmetals are negative. They want to gain. Just double check your nonmetal. This checks out. The oxygen is in a negative two oxidation state trend. Okay, so definitely memorize this trend, guys. And if this is true, that means this charge has to be true. So the charge of chromium was a three. So I just got to write Roman numeral number three. It's the charge of the metal. And now we are done. We can box that off. So Cr2O3 is just chromium 3 oxide. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. I just want to make sure I'm doing my job right. Um, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. That would help us out tremendously. And let's keep studying hard, okay? Good luck on your tests. See you later. Bye-bye.